Wanted to quickly go over how to create a look um, or a sequence button uh, manually without the sequence wizard. Um, basically we have two modes. We have the playback mode and the programming mode. So we're going to go click on the programming mode button and on um, this side we get our fixture layout and on the left side we get our palettes. Um, the first thing we want to do when creating a um, a look is we want to press the clear all button. That basically deselects all the fixtures and clears all the playbacks. Um, next we need to select the fixtures. There's two ways to select the fixtures. We can either rubber band them and select them like that or we can use the groups to um, select them. I'm going to go ahead and use the groups here. So now I have all my Axis 250's selected. Next we want to initialize the fixture basically initializing um, sets the dimmer channel to full and uh, opens the shutter if it has a shutter um, and so forth so that basically gives you like a uh, initialized position to start with then um, we can select the color and we can select the gobo and so now we look over here and we see the color and gobo basically shown and the little hundred percent meaning that the dimmer as it is at a hundred percent now we can go to our joystick and if we wanted to use our um, our movement shapes we can just select them from here let's say we want to do a circle so basically you see the lights are moving in a circle and the offset is one step so if I increase the offset I'm gonna change uh, the way the phase for for the offset for the circle so each light will be uh, doing the same shape but they'll be offset from each other you can also change the size of the circle so you see if I make it a little smaller depending on where you want it the other cool thing is you can move it so if I need to move it to a different area I can now move my shape and it's pointing in and making a circle in the direction that I need it to so as you can see right now that look is playing back on this current playback which is playback one and all I have to do to, to save this as a button for recall later is I just press the save changes as button and my sequence button uh, window sh uh, shows up just enter it as a uh, circle one save sequence and then my new button shows up in my new button area basically move it where I would like to have it I'm just gonna put it next to this button and that's it now that uh, if you need this look, basically all you do is you press it and you, you get that look um, on your lights. One quick note on the way buttons work. The buttons have two modes. They have release and they have stack mode. And I'll show you an illustration now. Basically, if you press the bottom half of the button, um, it stacks it on top of whatever else is playing on the page. So I've pressed the bottom half of this button. Now if I press the bottom half of the second button, they're both going to be playing simultaneously. If I use release mode, basically what happens is it releases everything on the page and only presses the button that you're going to. So if I press the top half of the circle one button, then it releases everything on the page and just presses the button that I selected. That is the quick overview of how to manually create a look in Disco Night club and lounge control.